This is Jason over at Go Power Sports, and today I'm going to give you the top five tips for your Predator 212. Yo, Perfect. These tips work with both the Hemi and the non Hemi engine. Alright, we have our Predator Hemi 212 engine. We can tell it's a Hemi, especially by looking at the valve cover. This one is more rectangle and porous. That's going to be the Hemi. The part Alright. Your engine will come with a key already zip tied to it. That's the key that you'll use with your clutch or torque converter driver. Make sure you hold on to that key because you may need it later on. All right, we have our Predator 212 engine out of the box. First, we want to look at this throttle assembly. You can tell when moving it back and forth that there's no tension to it. That's because these engines ship with the regulating frame nice and tight so your throttle linkages aren't just flopping around during packaging. So you're going to take a 10 mil socket and right in between the air box and your exhaust, you're going to see a nut holding everything down. So take the 10 mil and just back it up a little bit to where everything is nice and free. You still want that nut on there, but you want to loosen it up just so that your throttle linkages go back and forth. The next thing you'll notice on these 212s is that the pull starter assembly is kind of at a wonky angle facing forward. What you can do is take these three bolts off, you can rotate it, and put it right back on for an easy pull start. In order to do that, just an 8mm socket. We're just going to go ahead and rotate it and put the bolts back in. Now we have our pull starter in the correct position for a much easier start. The downside is now your sticker is going to be upside down and wonky. No big deal. We'll go ahead and peel this off. Throw that old sticker away. What you're going to want is a Go Power Sports official pull starter sticker. Bang, bada, boom. Alright, now we have our stickers on. We want to look for this low oil sensor, which is a little square box on the front of your engine. If you do not disconnect these, whenever you go and turn your mini bike or go-kart on a turn, the oil is gonna slosh over, that low oil sensor will kick in, and it'll start killing off your engine. So in order for your engine not to die on you every time you're riding, you're going to snip off both the yellow and the black wire coming out the bottom of this box. After you cut those wires, you can leave that box there, or you can unbolt it from your engine and discard. So grab a pair of dikes, the black wire and the yellow wire coming out of the low oil sensor. We're going to snip off. Black and yellow, discard. I'm going to now take off the low oil sensor, just an eight mil socket comes right off, discard. Another thing to notice is that there is a governor screw in here and that's going to prevent your engine from over throttling. If you want a little more RPM range just take a Phillips screwdriver and you can back it off right back here to allow yourself to get a little more throttle. Move your throttle arm out of the way and the governor screw is right here. Put your Phillips screwdriver in there. Back it up to the desired amount. And there you have it. It's one way to get a little more top end speed. The key is to find the sweet spot to where you're not constantly being bogged down by your governor. Another thing with these engines is that they ship without any oil in them. 
So make sure that you are picking up some Briggs 4T oil. You're going to want to put 16 ounces of this oil, which is half of this jug, inside of your engine. You can do it in two different spots. There's an oil plug in the front and an oil plug in the back. Both drain into the same case. You can use whichever is most accessible for you. And once you put in 16 ounces of this oil in your engine, it is best just to crank the engine over and let it idle for about 30 minutes. After that heat cycle, you're gonna go ahead and drain your oil, put another 16 ounces of, of this Briggs 4T in, and you'll be good to go. If you're having an issue starting up your engine, Make sure your kill switch is on the on position. Another thing to look for with your brand new engine. Choke is faced towards the rear of the engine. Choke off is towards the front of the engine. Also before starting your engine, make sure you have your gas switch flipped forward for on. A great thing about these engines is that they put out six and a half horsepower straight out of the box. If you wanted to do more, Go to GoPowerSports.com and pick up a Stage 1 kit for your Predator 212. That's going to come with a bigger jet for your carburetor, air filter adapter, brand new air filter, and your choice of multiple header pipes. Adding the Stage 1 kit will roughly add about 2-3 to three horsepower to your engine. This is Jason over at GoPowerSports and those are your top 5 tips for the Predator 212 engine.